Hey guys, welcome back to Level 6 Math. I'm Mr. C with our Saxon Math Lesson 73. Now in this lesson, we're going to look at exponents. We're going to just talk about it in ways we haven't before, like to the third power or cubed, to the fourth power, to the fifth power, stuff like that. Um, we're also going to write decimal numbers as fractions. We've kind of done that in the past, so this will be a little bit of a review. So first, let's look at exponents. 5 squared means 5 times 5, or the base number times itself, and you're only doing it twice. If you do it 3 times, it's 5 times 5 times 5. It doesn't mean it's 5 times 3, or 5 times 5 times 3, it just is 5 times 5 times 5. 5 to the 4th is 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. And 5 to the 9th is 5 times 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 I can't say that. You just do it 9 times. <laughs> All right, so the exponent indicates how many times the base is used as a factor, which is cool because we've done prime factorization before. Today we're going to show you how you can kind of simplify that by grouping common factors together. All right, so 5 to the 4th, we can say that we read numbers with exponents as powers. So we can say 5 to the 4th power, right? Or, five to the, or 2 to the 5th power. The only exception to that is if it's squared, we just say squared. You could technically say 5 to the 2nd power, but usually we say 5 squared. And with 3, we say cubed. So 10, to the, 10 cubed or 10 to the 3rd power. You can say either of those. Um, so here, if we're going to compare 3 to the 4th power and compare that to 4 cubed, what we have to do is write out the factors. So we're going to do 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. That's the same as 3 to the 4th power. Is that greater than or less than 4 times 4 times 4? Okay, so we need to solve. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 times 3 is 81. Okay, so we've got 81 on that side. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. So which one's bigger? 3 to the 4th. 3 to the 4th is greater than 4 to the 3rd, or 4 cubed. All right, check my math here. Good, I got it right. So 3 uh, to the 4th is greater than 4 cubed. All right, with a prime factorization of 1,000, write a prime factorization of 1,000 using exponents to group factors. Now, this is a little bit of review, so I'm going to do it. I'll show you both ways. So let's review. We can do the stacking method. So if it's a 1,000, I know that a factor of that is 2 because it's an even number. So 2 goes into 1,000 500 times. 500 is still even. 2 goes into 500 two times, and that gives us 250. And I'm not doing the full division because I know this. 5 divided by 2 is 250. 250 divided by 2 is 125. Now it's not even anymore. So we've got 125. I know that that's 25 times 5. So I'm going to say divided by 5. That's going to give me 25. Then 25 divided by 5 is 5. So now I've got all my factors. 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 5 equals 1,000. Now you'll see I can group these, right? 2 times 2 times 2 or 5 times 5 times 5. They're going to do that, so let me erase this, and I'll show you how they've done that. So they get their 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 5. Oh, I was going to show you how to do that with a factor tree, too. Remember, if we have 1,000, we can just go like this, right? 500 times 2, 250 times 2, 125 times 2, 125 is 5 times 25, and 25 is 5 times 5. So now, with our tree, we've got 5 times 5 times 5 times 2 times 2 times 2. So we can do it that way. Either way, we can find all of our prime factors. Once we've done that, to simplify, we can group them together. So 2 times 2 times 2, remember we just did this with exponents, that's 2 cubed. 5 times 5 times 5, that's 5 cubed. So we can just rewrite that as 2 cubed times 5 cubed. So that's one way of simplifying our prime factors with exponents. Simplify 100 minus 10 squared. 10 squared is 10 times 10, which is 100. 100 minus 100, that's 0. All right, so we can just subtract um, the 10 squared from 100, and the difference is 0. 
We'll review changing a decimal number to a fraction or a mixed number. We've done this before, so this is just review. Right, 0.5 is a common fraction. Remember 0.5, that's half of one, so we could just write it as one half, or we could do five tenths, right? Because this is a in the tenth place. So if we wrote it as five tenths, that would just reduce, um, divide, you know, common factor here is five. Five divided by five is one, 10 divided by five is two, so we get one half. So that's one way of doing it. Um, 3.75 is a mixed number. We can just keep the whole number three and then we're looking at 75.75 as our fraction. 0.75, now we're looking at hundredths place. So 75 over 100. The common factor there is 25 goes into both of those. So 75 divided by 25 is three. 100 divided by 25 is four. So we've got three and three fourths. Okay, so we can just reduce that way. We can break it up into parts if there's a decimal in the middle and then we're just gonna reduce and simplify. And that's it, that's the lesson for today. Um, a little bit of new language with our exponents going with squared to cubed to, to the fourth, to the fifth power, etc. And then just practicing reducing our decimals uh, and changing those into fractions. All right, good luck, bye.